Hello, I'm coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee. I'm Mark Brown. <clears throat> Today we look at a part of the story of Gideon, one of the Old Testament judges. Judges chapter 6. Gideon said to God, If you will save Israel by my hand as you promised, look, I will place a wool fleece on the threshing floor. If there is dew only on the fleece, and all the ground is dry, then I will know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you said. And that is what happened. Gideon rose early the next day. He squeezed the fleece and wrung, it out, wrung out the dew, a bowl full of water. Then Gideon said to God, do not be angry with me. Let me just make one more request. Allow me one more test with the fleece, but this time make the fleece dry and let the ground be covered with dew. That night, God did so. Only the fleece was dry. All the ground was covered with dew. Maybe you feel you know something about Gideon. Um, there's a lot of detail in the Bible about him in Judges 6 and 7 and 8 that we don't know too well, but this is maybe one of the most famous stories about him. Gideon had a difficult time believing that God would do what he said with him or whether he wanted, whether God wanted him to be the, the instrument of his work. And so even though God had appeared to him before, told him his will, and even done a miraculous sign for him, Gideon was still nervous. So he gave God first one test and then another. In the first test, he put out a fleece, you know, a piece of wool from a sheep out. And if the fleece, it says, um, if the fleece is, is, is uh, wet and the ground is dry, then I will know that you asked me to do this. In the second test, he reversed it which would probably be harder. And both tests came out exactly as he asked. Now Gideon still was a little bit nervous about going into battle for Israel, but it did all work out. Many people have looked at this story and said, here is a way that we can figure out what God's will is for us. Should I move to this new city? Should I take on this additional responsibility in my job? Should I marry this person? We People say this, actually use this term, we'll put out a fleece to find out. Now, what's noteworthy is that, of course, the fleece had nothing to do with how um, the decision was. It was completely disconnected from what Gideon had to decide. So, for example, you're uh, on a job interview for a new job, and if you tell yourself, if the boss asks, do I have these kinds of skills in computers, and you have it, then you can say, okay, this fits my ability and my interest. But if you say to yourself, if the boss comes to see me and he's wearing a red tie, then I should take this job. That's putting out a fleece. Do you ever wonder if maybe we put too much of an emphasis on how we must make the right decision and anything else will be bad for us and our life will be terrible? So we put out these, we look for tests from God, whatever we may call them and hope that he'll somehow show us a sign. God has already given us far greater assurances about this life and about the next life through Jesus who has come to bring us forgiveness and to be with us always. And when we know that he can be with us always, and that he forgives our mistakes and understands our weaknesses, then decisions may turn out right, even if we never have a fleece to go back on. So remember that he is with you. You don't need to put out a fleece because he will bless your decision. We pray. Thank you, Lord, for being with us in all of our circumstances in life. Thank you for being with us even when we agonize over small decisions and small problems. Help us to trust your will is done even when we don't have a way of finding out exactly what it is. Help us to trust and follow you, and you will work things for our good. In your name we pray. Amen.